In this video, we are going to learn to create our own entry form using Visual Force, and that would be for the accounts. So if I click on the new account, I see all these fields showing up in here. And what if I want to create my own entry form using Visual Force and only show the fields that I need and I can design the layout of my choosing. So to do that, let me go straight over to the Apex shortcut. We all know how to create that. So I'm going to say new account, hit enter on my keyboard and this will prompt me to create a new page called new account. When I click on that, I get this page created for me with some boilerplate code. So what we want to do now is clean up some of the default code. Hit save. Now we are starting with a clean slate. So what are we trying to do here? We are trying to connect this page to an account. So we have an attribute called in so within the apex page root element we have a property called standard controller and what are we trying to connect this to to an account we're going to provide the name of our object that is the account in here and if i now hit save this page is officially talking to the account so to make this page a little cleaner i can start uh, with the apex section header i can start with the section header so we all know that every time we write something it should begin with the apex keyword section header i can say title account and let's say subtitle oops i need to hit enter instead of the tab say new account and hit save or i can click on this floppy disk in here or i can use the shortcut control s and when i do that i get this section header thingy right in here and because this is an entry form and because it is an entry form we should have the form tag so let me go ahead and do that apex forms all right now we have got our forms tag added in here so i'm gonna have a page block that would give me a nice readability so let me indent this so that it becomes easier for us to read apex page block we're going to add the sections uh, later on just gonna start off with the root page block and i can give my block title as well hit control s i get that i can say what is the mode the mode is edit because we are editing the page and every page has got save and cancel button so let's add the if i open this one in here so that just to show you how it's going how it what we are going to achieve if i click on new what does this page have we've got this and then we have got the button section so let's add the button section in here right let me close this so i'm going to say apex page block buttons all right and the buttons start with the apex command button all right and the value that we are going to have is save and now if i hit save on my keyboard let's see what we get let me intend this so that it becomes easier for everyone to read let me hit save and there you go we are getting something now apart from save we have got cancel as well so if i hit save we get 
cancel and save um, but this button is not going to do anything unless we add an action to it right it has to do something so save should actually save it so we know that it's going to use a merge field and we are going to say curly braces exclamation save close curly braces so this will perform the action of saving this form and I can copy this and for the cancel I can simply use the cancel action Hit save and now this cancel and save buttons are all good to go but we don't have any field to capture the data we don't have any input fields to get the input from the user so let's do that actually I've got some code in my clipboard so let me paste that in here to save some time I'm going to hit control V to paste all that code in here and, and I'm going to explain to you what this code does uh, although it's quite self-explanatory so this code as you can see this is the page block section we had the page block button for the buttons uh, but now we are introducing the page block section we are calling it account information and if you have got two columns and explain to you what this column property means in a moment uh, and then we have got the input fields yes we are uh, getting the input from the user and what are we getting we're getting the account name similarly the phone number and the website and uh, with this code pasted let me go ahead and click on save and see what we get all right look at that salesforce has given us the label the label is the account uh, name and the phone and the website so what how uh, how did i get the name now how do i know if this is valid or not let me uh, go straight to the setup let me open this in setup and if i expand the customize expand the accounts fields and i've got the field name as name i've put that in here right and salesforce has automatically given me the display name or the label as account name because account name is what we have in here that is the field label similarly we have got the phone and where is the phone field in here phone is here phone is just the the same as the uh, field name and then we have got the website and where is the website this website is right here so I was talking to you about the columns if I set the column to 1 if I change it from 2 to 1 and hit save what we get is everything displayed in just one column and uh, if I put 2 in here it would display it would fill this white space in here it would give me two columns of course now if I don't specify any value in here by default Salesforce adds two columns in here so which makes it uh, look much cleaner so if you want to add a description section uh, I've got that code in my clipboard I'm just gonna paste it here so that you don't have to uh, see me type the whole thing and we have got the page block section similar to the page block section for the other input fields and notice that we have got the input text area instead of the input field because we would like to capture more use more information from the user not just one line because description can be descriptive as the name says so let me go ahead and click on save and let's see what we get all right look at that i we get the description field and uh, the description field looks a bit too wide for me it's just uh, almost uh, lining up under the phone i would like to make it a bit a bit shorter in width so i'm going to change it from 80 to 60 because these are nothing but columns right i'm going to hit save and this looks much better i can even change the rows from five to let's say two and hit save and let's see what we get mm, doesn't look very good i'm happy with what it was and you see this is not a required field if it was a required field it would have that red thing next to it so this is all provided to us by salesforce so if i now add some stuff in here let me say my account name is the it videos website is 
www.ditvideos.com phone number can be anything one two three blah 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 this is a this is a website for IT video resources all right I'm happy with what I have entered so I can go ahead and click on save and let's see what it does all right looks like we have got a brand new account added uh, and this has the description added and this has the website and everything all showing in place so I can use our custom form to add the fields and only use the input fields that I need so let me go back to my accounts and uh, click on new oh wait a minute this is not the form that we design we design our apex form and what salesforce is giving us the default form what we need is if i click on cancel what we need is we want this new button to be tied to our custom visual force page because right now it just opens up the default uh, salesforce page so how do we do that for that we need to go to the setup we're going to be using setup more often than not so i'm going to go to the customize expand the accounts and here we have the buttons links and actions link open that and if i scroll down i've got the new button these are all the buttons and let me click on the edit And right now the new button has no override so what we want to do is we want to tie this to our new account visual force page right click on save and if I go to my accounts now if I click on the new button we should get our we should get our visual force page and look at that now the new button is tied to our visual force page this is how we create and link the buttons to the visual force page thanks for watching and just before you go if this video has helped you in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe